Welcome back into the studio and April's Artsy Second Sunday. So this morning I am going to start off in a 10 by 10 um, canvas. This is a pre-gessoed um, stretch canvas. I do carry these in my store. Um, so that's where I'm going to start. And of course I'm going to start with some decoupage. So I've got some here, here some um, text papers out of my decoupage text pack. And I have some tissue paper from my decoupage tissue pack. Plus I found this awesome colored tissue paper that I got in a, something I purchased. So these are some of the things that I'm gonna use to start off with. Um, Cause I like to start almost everything I do with some decoupage. So that is where I'm going to get started. So thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoy. As always, I have listed below in the description box all the products that I have used um, in this month's Artsy Second Sunday piece. Um, just a note that links listed below are to my Etsy store or an affiliate link. I only link to products that I have used, tested, or prefer to use. I may receive a small compensation, but there is never any additional cost to you. Using the links just helps me put supplies on my art table and keep my content coming. Also listed below are the participants of this month's um, Artsy Second Sunday. And so if you are not here with us for the premiere and chatting in the room, um, and you are seeing this later beyond the time frame of the premiere, I do have listed below all the links to all the participants. Um, and you can follow those like you would a normal hop. I hope you enjoy. So now that um, all the decoupage is down and I've got some wonderful texture with that tissue along with the papers below that, I am going to go in with some Liquitex blended fibers. Now this is not a very like, common medium, but it is a texture medium um, by Liquitex and it is a lot of fun to use. It's got a lot of uh, really small cotton type fibers in it and you can't even really see them. They're very small, but you can definitely um, get an idea um, of well, the kind of texture you can get out of these as you, we go along in this piece. Now I have the little um, window shot there from the side only because I wanted you to be able to see how some of the patterning is that I am creating kind of in the background very abstractly. Arizona garden, stucco in the heat. Let me take you dancing. Let me get you on your feet. Arizona garden with my little cactus flower. Let the day slip away in the golden hour. And as you can see, now that that is dry, it is um, it goes clear. Um, 
so it is there. So what I'm doing is I am coming in with uh, Deco Arts professional um, labeled paints and this is a very translucent yellow iron oxide and I'm coming in with a really large soft this is actually um, a large um, three inch uh, painters brush for large format painting but I like to use it it's very soft and because I really wanted to get that color down I wanted to get it into all the grooves of that texture so I did add a little bit of more water to it to get it to flow a little bit more and got that spread out. And then I got that dried. And now I'm gonna come in with one of my favorite texture mediums. This is Marabou's Mousse. Now, it is a discontinued item. I do still carry it in my store because I kind of hoarded it in the store um, so that I would at least have it to play with even though it's been discontinued and I am just going through with this old hotel card and re-establishing where I've already have the blended fiber texture. You can't see the blended fiber but it is there. I just wanted to have um, that patterning have a little bit of a different uh, feel to it. So I did go in and add this as a second layer of additional, well really a third layer of additional texture. Now this is um, glazing medium and some of the Liquitex Basics heavy body paint. Uh, that I'm mixing together at about a 50-50 ratio. And so what I'm gonna do is do some glazing. Now you do need, with glazing, you gotta be prepared with a lot of baby wipes. And basically what you do is you lay down the paint and you give it time to slightly dry. Now, here in Arizona, we dr things dry really fast, so I don't usually let it sit very long and so sometimes I have to come back in and do a second layer of glazing um, because I'll pull it up too fast because it's all about how fast it dries if you're if you're in a location that has more humidity <laughs> this process will be slower for you because um, you need will need to let it sit on the surface uh, longer than I have here so then you go back in and you pull it up with your baby wipes so you can get a clean baby wipe and you can actually get that coming up in larger degrees and or you can do what I'm doing here is where I'm just patting it because I wanted more color in those areas. Um, I pulled it up um, more by wiping where I already had the large portions of marabou mousse down. Um, and so glazing is a wonderful way to bring out texture or to put an overall color in the background, um, but it will always highlight your texture. And here I am going in with a second coat in those center parts just because I wanted it to um, be more, um, have more color in those areas, color rich in those areas. And I am again pulling it up in the areas that I had put that um, marabou mousse. Glazing is kind of a dance. It's kind of a back and forth process until you get it right where you want it. So. Um, it's a wonderful thing to practice and play with, especially in an art journal or something like that where um, you're less invested so that you can play with it and see exactly how you like to work with it. And here you can really see all that wonderful texture and how that glazing just brought that out. Right, so now I am coming back in with some of that transparent yellow iron oxide and a round brush, and I'm going to start making some of my marks um, with this brush. Now, they, I wasn't really happy with them. They were very crisp and had crisp, hard edges, but I knew this was going to dry more transparent. So I waited for, um, 
that to get dried and it definitely went back um, but I did want to get that to appear more and I wanted those edges softer and you'll see how I handle that in a little bit not quite doing a dry brush process here but I am um, finger painting over the textural areas and getting it to catch some I am wanting to uh, create some more uh, light areas because I've got a lot of dark happening here and so that was my motivation in going with the uh, medium beige I am going to eventually come in with a lot even lighter color. So now I'm coming in with a yellow ochre, which is a more opaque yellow, and I am going to be um, mixing a little bit of the translucent iron oxide with that, as well as some of the burnt umber to create a color I'm happier with for that kind of golden color I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna finger paint in those marks that I'm trying to make. By adding some of the paint colors that I've already used on the painting, it is going to help tie in that color to the other colors I've already used. So it's not going to look like it's this standalone color. So I'm going in and making these marks with my finger and I'm just being a lot softer about it because I don't want them to be have real crisp edges and you're gonna see I just kind of keep wiping it back I don't quite like it till I finally get it to where I really wanted it as you can see here and now I'm just gonna go in with some of that burnt umber and really push some of the background back a little bit more and get some contrast happening. And I'm also gonna go around the edges and catch some of that texture, kind of make um, almost a border out of it. But now I'm getting some contrast in, which is starting um, to bring it kind of all together. And here I'm coming in with an even lighter color. So I mixed that medium beige with some of the Titan buff and just doing some dry brushing, catching the texture and creating some highlights. Arizona garden, stucco in the heat. Let me take you dancing Let me get you on your feet So now I'm going to reveal to you that April is National Turtle Month. And here are my references for this piece of artwork. Granted, I am an abstract artist, so it's an abstract version of what I saw. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like what you've seen, uh, please consider subscribing. And if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Okay.